is um, Harlan Crow, right? Harlan, Harlan Crow. This is a guy house, right? Filled with Nazi memorabilia, autographs from Hitler, Goebbels. It's very uh, disturbing. People get disturbed by that. Now, now, Harlan Crow, his explanation is that, oh, well, you know, you know, the thing is that, um, I use these, like, uh, you know, Nazi memorabilia, you know, uh, uniforms, books, paintings, all this stuff that Hitler did to remind myself how much I hate Hitler. Okay. Uh-uh. Um. Because you revere Hitler. This guy is a Nazi sympathizer. I don't want to have a friend that's a Nazi sympathizer. Now, let's go back. to Why doesn't um, Harlan Crow's... Um, Explanation hold uh, hold water, and I know like you know you get this kind of uh, automatic reaction like that's the, mm. but let's let's you know think about it because well right people you know you see all these documentaries about serial killers people have a fascination with them but but the difference is is that I mean with serial killers. What drove Jeffrey Dahmer to do what he did? Like eating male reproductive organs. I, I can't... I can't comprehend that. Uh, some of the twisted, sick things serial killers do, it's just like... Why? 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 And it's like so insane. And to hear from them explaining it is just... What? It's fascinating. We don't know the answer. No one knows the answer. Now, let's go back to Hitler. Why did Hitler do what he did? Simple. He hated Jews. Um, why, why did uh, the South, right, uh, fight in that civil war back in, you know, the 1800s? Why? Do we know? Yes, we know, because they wanted to keep slavery. Now, um, if you want to, right, have a bunch of, uh, you know, confederacy memorabilia, right, um, you know, maybe some, keep some nooses in your house to remind you of how much you think hanging slaves is horrible, this, you call outside to someone's yard and they're like, this is my garden. You see all these nooses hanging. It's to remind us that hanging people is bad. No. No. You know why? Because doing that shows reverence, not disdain. It shows a lack of empathy. How do we remind ourselves something was wrong? We think about the victims, right? Um, that's what Schindler's List was about. The victims. The book Night. That's how we know that Hitler was a monster. Um, the Germans got it right. <laughs> well, not right, but I'm so sorry. But no, I mean... The way they'll make uh, the children go on, like, a tours of these, like, horrible camps, you know, and showing what, like, these victims had to go through. Um, they don't show them a garden filled with uh, Nazi generals. They show it from the victim's uh, standpoint. And that's how we remember these dictators, by remembering the atrocities uh, that they caused in the victims. Um, you know, if, Har if you came out to Harlan's Garden, right, and there was a list, right, like a wall, had, um, 
you know, all the names of everyone who was died in um, Auschwitz, right? Um, which I don't think it's, I don't even know the number, but I don't know that's even possible. But, but you get where I'm coming from. That's a memorial. Um, memorial. We have the, um, the Vietnam Wall Memorial, right? All the names of all the people that lost, um, that lost their lives. Um, we don't have, a, a giant statue of, um, you know, some, um, some, uh, some of the, um, some of, some of the USSR generals, um, you know, uh, we don't have a, you know, a monument of Hitler and Stalin, um, you know, in, in Washington, D.C., D.C. to show how bad generals are. It's, it, it's just not how it works. Um, Harlan's, uh, explanation is BS. Do we want to have a Supreme Court justice that associates and is a dear friend of a Nazi sympathizer? We don't. Um, we don't want one that's corrupt. We don't want one that, um sexually harasses uh women uh we don't want one who has like a horrible uh simplistic uh view of the constitution um you know i think that there needs to be um some changes um because having someone like that on the court for life puts our whole country in danger. Um, they don't have elections like uh, other elected officials. They're there forever. And for the first time in history, we saw a massive scale back in fundamental rights recently. Um, you know, the Supreme Court, every decision before um, the uh, repeal of um, Roe v. Wade Every decision had, um, regarding um, fundamental rights, the rights had always been increased. The Supreme Court had never taken away a right until that day. Um, you know, it's a, it's a dangerous, uh, dangerous court that we have right now, and it needs to get addressed. All right, thank you. I'm signing off.